What is the difference between a calcium score test and a CIMT test? Well, that is what we're going to cover today so that you can decide which one is going to be the best cardiovascular screening test for you. First, let's get into two very big differentiators, and that is soft plaque and hard plaque. So let's talk about the plaque process before getting into each type of exam, because that's going to be really important for you to be educated on. So there is soft plaque and there is hard plaque. What's the difference? Well, the difference is pretty much the time that it's been sitting in your arteries and whether or not the body has had an immunity response that has taken place yet to calcify that plaque and kind of hold it down. So that's the short version. So we could say soft plaque is kind of early stage and later stage is calcified plaque. Which one is better? Okay, well, neither one is great, but we could definitely say that hard plaque seems to be a lot safer in the body than soft plaque. And that's because now it's held down steadily against that arterial wall and there's less risk of it breaking off and turning into a stroke or a heart attack of some sort, right? So let's get into the calcium score test because that seems to be the one that most people have knowledge about but I'm here to introduce you to the CIMT test also because it's so great. I think everyone should know about it. Calcium score test, let me grab, I know I have a heart model here. Here we go. Okay, calcium score test looks at the coronary arteries. So those are the arteries that feed the heart, okay? So the heart feeds the whole body, right? It pumps and it's getting blood out to every organ and even to the fingertips and toes. But what feeds the heart? That's the coronary arteries. And if the coronary arteries, those are the ones in red on the front here, and there's the back too. If the coronary arteries have plaque buildup in there, then blood flow isn't going to get to this heart muscle. And each artery feeds a different segment of heart muscle. So if the artery is blocked, can't feed the heart muscle, the heart muscle dies and that's what's called a heart attack, okay? So basically that part of the heart will stop functioning or have really greatly reduced function. And of course, we never want that to happen. Now the calcium score test is a great way to see if those arteries have calcified plaque in there. But here's the thing, it won't tell you if you have soft plaque. So you could have quite a blockage of soft plaque in there and you'd never know it from that test. So I think calcium score is a great test. It has saved a lot of lives. I definitely highly recommend this test. I just don't think it's a get it a healthcare free card, okay? A lot of people walk away and they think, oh, okay, well I've had a calcium score test in the past. My score was great. I was pretty much in perfect health. And then a year later or five years later, my score was through the roof, you know, astronomical, bad. And that's because it likely had a ton of soft plaque in there that just over time hardened. You know, it can be a false negative, let's say, okay? It can look like it's great because it's not seeing calcium deposited, but that soft plaque, remember earlier stage plaque, could be sitting in there and equally deadly, okay? Soft plaque, hard plaque, both could be deadly, right? Because hard plaque can still cause that blockage it's just less likely to break off and cause a stroke if it's like in your neck. That can be a great indicator of what your risk is going to be. And so if we compare it with other averages that have been done in many studies, we can say your estimated arterial age is maybe 60 to 70 years, but you're 52. Or you could be 70 and your arteries are around people who were 52, which is always a win. Now, when we catch it at this stage, where plaque has not formed. I'm gonna go back to the model. Plaque has not formed yet, but the wall is starting to thicken. That's where a lot of doctors, particularly functional medicine doctors, believe that it's reversible and have been able to do things to reverse the plaque process. Why is that important? Oh my gosh, 70% of strokes happen from the plaque that happens in this area, okay? So I'm gonna give you an idea of what your neck looks like in that area. 
So this is the common carotid artery it's about here. And then it bifurcates, right? It splits right here. One goes to feed the brain. That's the internal carotid artery. And one goes to feed the face and the eyes. That's the external carotid artery, the main branches. So what we don't want is plaque to build up, get a thrombus that then breaks off and heads to the brain. Because if it breaks off here and starts heading to the brain, like we talked about with the heart, where if you know the artery gets blocked, it causes the muscle to die, and that's a heart attack, the same thing happens with the brain, and that is a stroke. So it travels up where all the red is, that arterial system, not including this red, these little red branches, so that's the arterial system, and that little thrombus is just gonna travel until it can't travel anymore. And that's the part of the heart, the brain, that it'll affect in a stroke. And there's no telling, right? So that's why when people have a stroke, you don't know if they're going to have facial paralysis or full paralysis, or if they're gonna die, which if it affects a particular part of the brain, any of those things can happen. So the carotid or the CIMT test will look for that inflammation. And then there's a test that you can do above it. Now, most doctors don't offer it. Here at Atlanta Ultrasound, we do. Most doctors do not offer this in their offices, but the, which is a CIMT test. Now, if you go above and beyond it, typically cardiologists will have this in their office, is the carotid artery ultrasound complete, and that will look for plaque throughout it. So right here is where the CIMT test is taken. It's a small measurement and it will tell us if you have inflammation and you're kind of like your stroke risk, right? Like low to moderate. Nothing can fully predict, but, but it can give a really good assessment. As a matter of fact, the Mayo Clinic did a study and it had 100,000 participants and it was 98% accurate over 10 years. So I would say I would stand behind that if I was a patient looking for a proper test. There's the differences. And then I also want to go into the carotid artery ultrasound, which is basically instead of taking the little CIMT test just from here, it actually scans all of these arteries. Now here at Atlanta Ultrasound, with every carotid study, we include the CIMT. Most places don't do that because they don't have the equipment to do CIMT, but ask. So those are the differences between the calcium score test CIMT test and carotid ultrasound. So calcium score, will not see soft plaque, can detect uh, calcified plaque and affects the heart. Now the CIMT test with the carotid, I mean, can detect plaque, whether it's soft, whether it's mixed soft and hard or hard calcified plaque. And it can predict cardiovascular risk for stroke and heart attack. So. Honestly, I think the more comprehensive we can be, the better. So I think both the carotid CIMT plus calcium score test is really the best way to go. But again, always talk to your provider and make sure that you're seeking correct medical advice. I'm a sonographer. I specialize in cardiovascular ultrasound, but I am not an MD. So don't take this as gospel and don't take this as medical advice. I'm not giving medical advice. I'm simply educating you on the different tests that I'm aware of and what I see. Plenty of the patients who come here go through and the research that I do pretty much online. So, and by talking to functional medicine providers and cardiologists. So Always be your own advocate, talk to your medical professional, and ask them if they offer these tests or know where you can get them. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today. If you'd like to learn more about this test or wonder where you can get it, you can go to www.atlantaultrasound.com to learn more, or our business details are also below in this video.